Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Robert Rivera with Who's On First to Show. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a myth test with you guys. It's a lot of rules, a lot of regulations, a lot of stuff out there that people don't seem to understand. So let's go with myth number one. A pitch that bounces to the plate cannot be hit. So basically, a, a real pitch is should be in flight from the pitcher's hand and it must strike the hand or the glove of the catcher first for it to be a legal pitch and or I mean, I'm sorry, a strike, a strike or a ball. OK, it must be in flight. Now, if that pitch bounces and then crosses into the strike zone, does not make it a strike because it did not go in flight. That's not a legal pitch. So that would be automatically a ball. OK, if the ball hits the ground and never goes past the foul lines or home plate in the big leagues, they call it a balk um, in the league. Some people award a ball. They call it no pitch. I don't believe in mulligans. I believe there should be a penalty involved. So I would automatically call that a ball since there's no balk in the league. But let's say the pitch goes straight, bounces in front of the plate and then bounces back up. Can that batter hit that ball? Absolutely. Let's go on myth number two. The batter does not get first base if hit by a pitch after it bounces. Okay. So basically this pitch comes in, it bounced, hits the ground, and then let's say it hits the batter in the leg. He does get first base. Okay. The pitch is delivered. A pitch is a ball delivered to the batter by the pitcher. It does not matter how it gets to the batter. If the batter is to hit the pitch while attempting to avoid it, he will be avoided, awarded first. Okay, let's go on to number three. The hands are considered part of the bat. I got to tell you, folks, it's a big no. Hands are not considered a part of the bat. Once it hits, he swings, hits his hands, it's a strike. Okay, it is a strike. So we, as umpires, we have to determine he did swing. He made the attempt. It hit him in the hand. It is a strike, and the runners can't advance. The hands are a part of the person's body. If the pitch hits the batter's hands, the ball is dead. If he swings at the pitch, a strike is called, not foul. Okay? If, if he was avoiding the pitch, he is awarded first. Okay? So he comes in here. And he's swinging, and he goes forward, and he gets hit in the hand. It's a hit batter, okay? But if he's swinging at the ball, and he's coming through, and that ball hits him in the hand, well, then guess what? That's a strike now, okay? And it does happen, okay? It does happen. If you pick up a bat with a pair of hands attached to it, right? So it's not a part of the bat. Let's go with number four. If the batter breaks his wrist when swinging, it's a strike. A strike is a judgment by the umpire as to whether the batter attempted to strike the ball. Breaking his wrist or the barrel of the bat crossing the plate is simply a guide to making that judgment of the attempt. This is not a rule. It is a straight judgment call. Once again, rule 2.00 strike. It's the definition of it. Let's move on to number five. If the batter does not pull the bat out of the strike zone while in the bunting position, it's an automatic strike. That's a myth. No, absolutely not. A strike is an attempt to hit the ball. So he can stand there, and if the pitch is 10 feet over his head because he has the bat in front, does that mean? No, it's not a strike. He has to go up, or he has to go after that ball to try to hit it. Okay, and that's that's exactly what they talk about. Simply holding the bat over the plate is not an attempt and is an umpire's judgment. Okay, a lot of these are, are judgments. And, and sometimes you have to really take a look at it. And that would be rule 2.0 as a strike. Let's move on to number six. The ball is dead on a foul tip. Hmm. There is a difference between a foul ball and a foul tip. I know everybody that watches Major League Baseball. I understand the way the announcers, they announce it. That's a foul tip. It hit the backstop. It's not a foul tip. That is a foul ball. A foul tip is something the catcher will catch. That ball is live. 
Okay. So if the batter swings and it glances off the bat, it is a strike. But on a third strike, if he catches it, that batter is out. If he drops it, then that batter has the option to run to first. First base is open. That first base has to be open. If there's less than two outs, if there's two outs, even if first base is occupied, he can run towards first base. There is nothing foul about a foul tip. It is a strike and the ball is live. A foul tip is the same thing as a swing or miss. To be a foul tip by rule, the ball must go sharply and direct from the bat to the catcher's hand or glove and be caught. Confusion arises on this because people commonly call any ball that is tipped or nicked a foul tip. It is not a foul tip by rule unless it's nicked or tipped ball is caught. If it's not caught, it's simply a foul ball. A foul ball is a dead ball. And when we when we say dead ball, we don't scream dead ball because we don't have few rules for dead ball. Okay, the proper the proper is time. You call time time. Okay, a foul tip is a legally caught nick. Okay, so it's legally caught. It was nicked by the bat and is a live ball and is a strike, just like a swing or a miss. We give the signal. The signal is the fingers. Okay, and you slide your hand across it. We got a foul tip, boom, point to it, foul tip. If you like the show, please do me a favor, subscribe, right, right, you see it? It's right there, subscribe, share, like, and don't forget, put that bell on. It'll ding you when I put something else on, all right? 